Good morning, everybody. As always, time to head off to work again. But Don and I are talking about getting chickens and ducks, you know, chicks, from... Well, we're thinking about tractor supply, but they seem kind of expensive. It's probably cheaper for him to order them from the granary like he did before. He ordered over a hundred chicks one time. Well, good morning. Not a sunshiny morning this morning. Fucking gloomy. Bullshit. Yeah, but it's warmer out there anyway. Yeah, true. Yep. Showing everybody my big old titties. Well, I could. There, yeah. see, they're pierced. Stop it. <laughs> and your tongue is pierced, too. Yeah, I think yeah. that's kind of cool. Well, my eyebrow was pierced, too, until it got ripped out by a tree branch. Yeah, that, would, that wouldn't be fun. Oh, it felt real good. <laughs> Blood running down in my eyeball the whole nine yards. Yuck. So we're going to get the day started. I'm gonna, As always, I'm going to leave the vlogging to Don until I get home, so we'll see what he comes up with. Alright everybody, I ended up going on a bike ride and I'm down here at uh, Tar Pond, which is part of the Upper Black River. And I just wanted to come out and show you guys this part through here. It's not very often I come down and through here do any fishing because it's kind of hard to get, you know, anything to really bite from shorelines up and through here unless you're over at the old train bridge. But as I loop back around to go home, I'll take you over to the train bridge so that way I can get you guys a little bit of footage of that. Well, there's the train bridge way over there, and that's where the train bridge is the Tower Dam. But this is what's called Tower Pond in through here. You know that's part of the Black River. You used to be able to go swimming down in through right here, but from over the years, from it not, from it not being maintained, they haven't done the beach in through here in quite s some years, and they've been talking about it and never done it. And I got a feeling that they're never going to redo the beach here, so we might as well just lop it up and take it like little bitches that we are because they're not going to haul any sand in and have like the community chip in and spread the sand out down in through here. But that's okay. Alright guys, I'm going to let you go for a couple minutes get you over to the train bridge so that way you guys can get a little bit of footage over there. And I'll point you over at the Tower Dam. That way you guys can see it from the train bridge. Alright everybody, we're over here at the train bridge. Well, the old train bridge, now it's a foot trail and bike trail. Um, snowmobiles use this during the winter time to get back and forth. But the county allows the snowmobiles during the winter time, but anything with uh, wheels are not allowed on it, except for if it's the county. But there's no four-wheelers or dirt bikes or cars or trucks or nothing on the old on the trails through here because it's just the rules they made to go along with it so that way they don't tear it all up and everything after they've redone it all well here's the view facing towards the area where it was at before in the last little clip still tower pond but we're like I said we're on the train bridge Starting to get some openings in the water. Won't be long before uh, we'll have enough openings here to be able to actually do some fishing. And right, I'm going to turn around for you guys. This is the train bridge through here. Well, the old train bridge. They redecked it and everything when they ripped up the railroad ties. And then there's this clip right over and through here. The ice is starting to get thin in right here. You can see, barely see through it. It's dark ice, so that tells you it's thin ice. And I'm gonna get, uh, try to get the camera to zoom in where I can get you guys closer to the dam here. Alright, well that's the best I can do for you is for zooming in. There's the dam. There's the building for the controls. Where they, where they can do shit. I decided to stop off at one more spot on the Black River. This is another spot that I go to to do a little bit of fishing at. It's not very often I come down to this spot to do any fishing. The fishing at this spot ain't nothing like it used to be when they put this bridge in. Back when they put it in, they ended up uh, doing some excavating in the river. 
be able to put this bridge in and when they did they ruined a really good fishing hole right here but which is understandable that they had to put a new bridge in because the old one was in really rough shape and they definitely needed it but this is the old fishing hole that I used to go to quite often when I was a teenager growing up around this part here me and my uh, twin brother Dan and my brother Dave used to come down here all the time but uh, when we are able to get out in the water and stuff we got a boat that we can use and we'll probably end up uh, coming down in through this way with the boat it's a 14 foot fiberglass boat with a gas motor and a trolling motor on it and we're on the opposite side of the tower dam which there's a road right there if I was going down that road it would take me up to the tower dam I, I might take you down there and I might not just all depends on if I get a wild hair at my rear end or not and I don't I don't think I'll be able to get you guys a little clip from this way of the dam of the back side I might have to walk down this way a little bit to get it I'm going to try and zoom the camera in for you guys try and get in a little bit closer you can see a little bit of it you can see the buildings up on there all right there you go I was able to zoom it in and get in a little bit closer but right here is the opposite side of the tower dam if I go to the other side we're just going to be up on the top part of it which I showed you guys the top part from the train bridge so I most likely am not going to go down there because I'm getting you guys footage from down right here at the car bridge but like I said this used to be a really good fishing spot here well I really enjoyed myself getting out and about today going out to the river and everything and all the different spots I haven't done that in a while felt good but right now I'm just getting ready to start dinner I'm gonna have chicken mashed potatoes probably broccoli and if we don't have broccoli something else for a vegetable I'm not sure yet but the odds are it'll be broccoli because it's uh frozen in the freezer it tastes a lot better it's more crisp and just better all around this is always such a long drive home it takes an hour and i i'm always glad to get out of work and i'm always happy to um get home to don i'm always really impatient to get home i just came through a lanson and the next turn is an indian river and then um, I'll be home. It's 1037. I'll probably get home at about 11. I don't know. Maybe later. Here comes the Indian Trails bus. It hooks in with Greyhound. And uh, in 96 when I went to California, 95 and 96, I took the Indian Trails bus and then went to uh, hooked into Greyhound and every time I see those buses it brings back memories driving uh, riding all the way across the country in a bus but yeah I'm driving down the road in the dark with my dome lights on which is illegal in Michigan and I'm vlogging and driving which isn't very safe so I'm gonna quit but I just wanted to check in with you guys needless to say I'm home Don is still in a Breaking Bad marathon. I really think it's cool that he's enjoying it. He's making dinner so we can stuff our faces. Chicken, gravy, potatoes. Looks good. Smells good. Too bad you guys can't smell it. Yeah, good thing you can't. Why? Because it smells like major ass. It does not. <laughs> <laughs> Durr. <laughs> Durr. 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 What would you want to be a Durr? Durr. <laughs> Give me a Durr. Look, food. What food? Food. Give me food. <laughs> food. <laughs> no, bad for you. I don't want spicy shit. It's garbage. <laughs> There's honey mustard in there. I don't want, I don't want honey fucking mustard either. <laughs> That's a real cocksucker. <laughs> Whoever would eat honey mustard I don't is a mean... fucking retard. <laughs> I didn't mean honey mustard, I meant honey barbecue. <laughs> <laughs>
I like honey mustard though. I I put it on sandwiches, dip it in um dip nuggets in it. When I used to eat nuggets. Oh yeah? Yeah. Used to. Yeah, I don't eat that stuff anymore. I don't eat deep fried stuff. I lost 150 pounds. It doesn't need to come back. Well, you don't have to deep fry the shit, you know? You can bake it. Yeah, but they already deep fried it once in the factory. How do you think the breading gets like it is? Well, have you ever heard make your own? No. You got it too and used to could. Put some hair on your ass. Blah. <laughs> well, you, you don't have to either, I will. That isn't what I meant. Nobody wants to piss me off. Why? Because, do you notice, I opened it up without breaking the seal on the plastic wrapper? Yeah. You don't want to piss me off, I'd be liable to poison their fucking food. Oh, <laughs> I've done that. All you do is you cut it with your fingernail, and then you open it. Or, you open it, empty some of it out, piss in a bottle, and shake it all up. What's wrong with you? <laughs> well, it can't be any wor worse than pissing in a Mountain Dew bottle and tell them, give it to somebody let them drink it. <laughs> I've done that before. You're so mean. Well, because I'm a real cocksucker. <laughs> I'm rude, crude, and inconsiderate and don't give a damn. So where's the cat? Oh, I skinned it. Don't you realize that if you skin a cat and skin a rabbit, that you look a lot alike? Oh, that's so gross. <laughs> Well, in some countries they eat dogs, so why can't you eat, so why can't you eat a cat? Cause America, eat, Americans are are more civilized than that. I'm not an American. I'm not <laughs> civilized. What are you then? I'm me. <laughs> I'll eat whatever you put in front of me. Uh, so let's go on a hunt for the cat, cause I don't know where the cat is. So I still haven't found the cat, but my Roku remote came today, my replacement. So we can watch TV in the bedroom now. In the purple bedroom. <laughs> Here's where the elf doll ended up. An Eeyore. But, yeah. I can't find the cat. So she must have ran outside. Goofy, naughty cat. <laughs> so this is dinner. And it looks really good. There's, there's Don's. Stuff my fat ass. Yeah, I'm gonna hear in a second too. But yeah, he's a really good cook and he can deny it all he wants, but I don't believe it. I have no idea what Don vlogged for you today, but I'm about to find out because I'm gonna start editing. <coughs> and it's getting late, so we're gonna go ahead and say good night. And we hope that you enjoyed the video and that you like, comment, subscribe, share, and that you're having a great day. Good night. See you all tomorrow. Good evening. Have fun. Okay. Take the whole 1.2 seconds, hit the like button. Still haven't found the cat, but she'll show up. Bye.